Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this video, I'm going to quickly tell you one amazing tip you must have seen, especially in these kind of search drop downs. For example, let's say if I'm searching for anything, let's say I'm searching for a MacBook, and then let's say I really want to select any of the specific element or uh, let's say in Selenium, I want to use driver.find elements, and I want to collect all the suggestions which are coming here right so what happens the moment i try to inspect any of the suggestion for example right click on it and then you go to inspect and you will see that the suggestion is disappearing right see i'll show you once again you again macbook and let's see right click on macbook air and then it's gone in fact when you open the console also or a dom also in the dev tools and again you search for macbook and then now click on this inspect here and then it's gone right so i'm not able to inspect all the suggestions properly same thing if you go to let's see on this particular uh, agile dashboard and then this on zira dashboard and here let's see i really want to select any specific value let's see task and i really want to inspect all the options let's see task right click on it and it's getting disappeared if i right click on it and go to inspect and i open this uh, drop down from here and uh, i want to collect all the options available in this drop down i try to inspect the moment i click on inspect button here or link here it's getting disappeared so the problem is that i cannot identify that how many elements are there in that particular drop down again you can see that suggestions are not coming here it just simple say that okay this is a just a div and this is the input and nothing so i want that when i open this and then i want to inspect all these items same things here also all the suggestions so I've already prepared a couple of videos on this that how to uh, use event listeners and all those things. But there is one other short trick that I'm going to tell you. You just simply go to the console and you just need to write only one a basic simple method in the form of JavaScript. You simply write set timeout method. That is what you have to use it. And then here, what you have to do, the set timeout method is, is taking one a callback function. And then you start it here. And then uh, let me just write it again. Start it here and ending body here like this. And here you simply write debugger. Okay, semicolon. And then you have to just pass, let's see if I'm passing 1000 milliseconds here. So if I'm passing 1000 milliseconds, it means just generate the debugger after one second. Right, so it, this, is, this is just an asynchronous function already predefined in JavaScript, which will work on the browser. And we want that, okay, a call this particular debugger property after one second or 1000 millisecond. When I run this particular script, see, after one second, this paused in debugger is coming over here. You can just, uh, and it is also getting appeared in the source section also. You can just, uh, okay, uh, beautify the code like this. But I don't want within one second, right? So you can just pause in debugger. You can play the debugger once again. I want that. This MacBook, you search for it. And then after five seconds, I want to generate the debugger. And uh, I'll just make it five here. Or after five seconds, generate the debugger. You just simple execute this particular script. So let's say I'm executing it, open that. And after five seconds, the debugger will be open. See, and now it is not getting disappeared. So I just simply go to my DOM in the element section. Now I can inspect whatever I want to inspect here. So I want to inspect MacBook Pro or anything. It's not getting disappeared. So you can see that this is the A link and this A is actually another uh, div under that particular div. One more div is there or whatever the image or the second div. This is having this MacBook Pro return here. So I can easily inspect my div and span. It's properly visible now in this particular list. So you can see under this UL, all the LI uh, list suggestions are coming here. Right. So you just need to put a debugger and then it will work fine. And once your work is done, you just simply play the debugger. It is already paused. Now you just need to resume the script execution and then that's it. Second thing is that same thing. Let's see over here. We really want to do this. So if I simple open that or does not or no need to open that, you simply go to your console and then run that particular script once again. This is the one 5000 milliseconds. So we are getting five seconds to open the drop down. So that's it. Just open it and just wait for five seconds that's it and it says paused in debugger now it is paused 
simple go to elements and now inspect anything that you want to inspect it over here without any problem. Now it's not getting disappeared at all. And once your work is done, you can just simply click on from here. You might be heard about that. You can press F8 also. See, again, I'm running this particular script. So let's simple run it again and open this debugger. So after five seconds, debugger will be coming. And if you see, if you mouse over in the form of tooltip, resume script execution or press F8 from the keyboard. So you can press F8 also. See, I'm pressing F8. Again, the debugger is gone. But if I generate a debugger with the F8, so for example, again, come back here, open this drop down. And uh, see the moment I press function F8, see the debugger is coming. I pressed function F8, but this drop down is also getting disappeared. So these kind of problems, you won't be able to solve it with the help of a function F8, because the moment I press function F8, see, I'll show you once again, open this drop down. Now press function F8 from your keyboard together. The moment I press function F8, the drop down is getting disappeared once again, although it's generating the debugger here. So that's why the, in this case, this script is very useful. Run this particular script, open your drop down and wait for five seconds and the debugger will open. After that, it will not be disappeared, right? Same thing if you come back here and then let's see, <coughs> uh, the moment I press F8 over here also, it's getting disappeared, see? Although debugger is coming, but it is disappearing from here. So don't rely every time on the function F8. You just better execute this particular script, put the timeout for five seconds. Meanwhile, you open your suggestions. And then after five seconds, if it is taking some time, you can increase the time also. You can increase that. And the same script will be displayed in the source also. You just need to click on this so it will be properly visible. This is the script and copy this or again, come back and then release the pause in the debugger and then paste it here, that is also, you can do it. If you really want to increase a timeout, that also you can increase it over here. Okay, I hope this uh, tip is very useful, especially these kind of suggestions or these kind of drop downs, especially in the React-based application or Angular-based application, where the moment you try to inspect anything, it's getting disappeared. So in such cases, it will be very, very helpful. I hope the simple trick or tip <clears throat> will be useful for you to handle these scenarios. Thank you so much, guys.